thank you very much for joining today's bhakti book class so in the last week we were discussing that arjuna uh, having mentioned how lord krishna helped them during through many trials and tribulations in their life he left him leaving them alone though krishna arjuna wanted to bring back the remaining people in dwarka the queens of lord krishna on the way krishna came in the guise of cowherd boys and stole them away so arjuna feeling very morose and is telling that the same lord who has given me so much power which ashan devatas he has he has gone and he has taken it away also so now i am not able to be composed then arjuna said that remembering whatever he spoke to me during the battle of kurukshetra the teachings of bhagavad gita so i am getting composed so then we saw that just like arjuna was composed by remembering the teachings of lord krishna known as bhagavad gita yudhishthir maharaj also getting composed till now only by the request of lord krishna he was ruling no lord krishna is not there so he is deciding to follow the path of lord krishna lord krishna went back to spiritual world no he also want to go back home back to godhead so then while discussing that in kapla verses what is the purpose with which the lord appears in this world again and again in various incarnations especially as lord krishna through the medium of kurukshetra battle and through various battles lord krishna made the earth freed from the over burden of the asur kings but before he is leaving he wanted to remove the aidus also so that is mentioned in the verse number 34 regarding both the burden of the asuras and the burden of the aidus same in one sense we took the example of that if there is one thorn entered into our feet we take the elbow of another thorn remove it after removing both the thorns we go into the forest only we don't keep them so something like that so krishna when devatas requested lord that okay earth is overflowed with all the asura kings lord vishnu requested all the devatas to take birth in the edu family kuru family etc so they have all taken birth now lord krishna wanted to wind up his past times so before doing that he wanted to send back all the devatas to their respective places so that he did it through this past time of calling all the edus to prabhas making them to perform yagna giving charity to brahmanas feeding them then drinking a wine made up of rice they became intoxicated then they killed each other they kind of disappeared so this particular vision is given to the people such as arjuna such as vyasadev and the other great sages so that they can compile it they can speak to others yeah, that was the intention of lord krishna to start kali yuga though it was the end of dwapara yuga when krishna was there yudhishthira was ruling it was like satya yuga he wanted to bring it to kali yuga so for that this entire event is orchestrated by lord krishna himself no it is actually not wine it is called asavam because in, in in english we don't have equivalent words for many things that is called uh, uh, but that is not intoxicant in one sense uh, so because we don't have english equivalent words that's why proper translates as wine so wine is known to everyone so in that way it is not actually wine <laughs> so then <clears throat> after making the disappearance of the edus lord also disappears so how to understand lord disappearing lord dies so it is not like that he gives the example of a magician just like a magician when he comes in the presence of the people he shows a magic in the magic he can kill himself he can disappear but after the magic is over again he comes back so what was shown in the magic is only an illusion it's not reality same way the death of the edus and the death of lord krishna of lord balram everything is like a magic then what to speak of lord krishna any avatar that comes that is also like a magic so whenever avatar comes and performs past times here and their disappearance is like the magic so in that way because these avatars are always there in the spiritual world when time when they come here they make they perform some past times and they disappear they go back to rest this will be unlike us we take birth our body grows when we die we leave behind the body and atma goes to some other place into the womb of some other mother 
but that is not the case with the avatars. So that is explained with the help of a analogy known as magic. How Pandava you? Pandava knows this. Huh? Pandava is having this knowledge. Ah, Pandavas know this. So they know that they understood that Lord Krishna went back to spiritual world. Now they are also going back to spiritual world. That is the end of the chapter. At the end, we will read that Krishna, they also went to Dwaraka in the spiritual world. All the Pandavas. Pandavas know. Being pure devotee, they all know. So this is where we stopped last week. And we will continue with the verse number 36 onwards. Yada Mukundo Bhagavani Mamahim Jahau Swatanvash Shravaniyat Satkata Tadahareva Eva Pratiruddha Chetasam Abadrahetu Kaliranva and the personality of God and Lord Krishna, then this ugly planet in sense and form from that very day Kali, who has already partially appeared, became fully manifest to create the inauspicious condition for those who have endowed with the pure fund of knowledge. As Mukunda departed from the surface of the earth, Yada Mukundo Bhagavan Imam Mahim Jahau Jaho means giving up. Just as, as soon as Lord Krishna gave up this material world and went back to his own abode, Tad Ahar, at that Ahar, Ahar means Aho Ratri, Aho means daytime. But basically, on the same day, the full day is called as Aho Ratri. Aho means daytime, Ratri means nighttime. Tad Ahar, at the same instant, Eva Aprati Buddha Chetasam. Adabra Hetu Kaliranva Vartana Vartata. So Kali made his manifestation through Pratibuddha Chetasa, the people who have contrary knowledge. We discussed in the last time that when Lord Krishna orchestrated this entire pastime, that Edus killing each other, and Lord Krishna leaving behind a body, the people with Aprathibuddha Chetasa, whose consciousness is not proper, intellectual, which is contrary to the normal expectation, they started saying that, hey, what kind of these Edus are? We thought that they are devotees of the Supreme Lord. No. If they are devotees, how can, fight, how can they fight with each other? And that fighting went to the extent that they killed each other to the extent that no one remained. Everyone died. And what kind of God is he? He understood an arrow died. So people without proper understanding of who God is, what the divinity is, started making that kind of comments. Through them, Kali made his appearance on the same day as soon as Lord Krishna departed. Why do you think who has already partially appeared? Where, what is that, Prajee? Yes, partially appeared. Who has already partially appeared? Kali. Ah. Kali was already there in the form of Duryodhana. Duryodhana was Kali personified, na? So he was killed by Bhima. Now he is making a full fledged impersonal way is appearing now. So in that. When Lord Mukunda, whose topics are worthy of hearing, Swatanva, Shravaniya Satkata, whose pastimes are meant for hearing, worthy of hearing, left this earth by means of his spiritual body. From that day onwards, Kali, the cause of inauspiciousness, okay, entered those whose intelligence was sleeping. Matlab, whose intelligence was not proper. Ya Nisha Sarvabhutani, Tasyan Jagurti, Tamimi. So something like that. Whose intelligence is not dedicated to Dharma, they, through their intelligence, Kali made his entrance. Something like that. Abhadra Hetu. The nature of Kali is Abhadra Hetu, which brings inauspiciousness. The Kali the cause of inauspiciousness. Kali means Quarrel and hypocrisy. When people are together, they fight. When people is uh, people are single, they make plans to cheat others. So when person is one, he is hypocrite. Um, there are many are there, they quarrel. So that is the nature of Kali. So, of course, next chapter, next two chapters are all about Kali only. We will discuss more detail. This verse clarifies the condition of his giving up his body. When he left with his body, 
means he left to vaikuntha giving up the earth with his body so he came to the earth performed past tense for 125 long years then in his self same body returned so people might say people who is knowledge is contrary they say that krishna left behind his body he is also like us he is also a human being that is because of their contrary understanding but the actual understanding of our acharyas is lord krishna left to spiritual world with his own self same body he did not leave behind prabhu prabhu also left his body we will discuss we will discuss this chapter talks about that the lord having shown his form the center of attraction for all eyes then took that form and disappeared from the men who had not performed austerities but had attained the lord's mercy and were continuously craving a vision of his form so when lord krishna was there on the surface of the earth initially was there on undavan then madura then dwaraka then frequently used to come to indraprastha then eventually after battle of kurukshetra astinapur he was traveling many places here are there everywhere wherever he went everywhere people everywhere people had the good fortune of having darshan of lord krishna they could see even though on their own they don't have any qualification that they can see the lord but when lord himself comes everyone get a chance to see him so that's what it is indicated this verse comes in third canto second chapter it says that the lord having shown his form the center of attraction for all eyes whoever saw the lord they could never turn away their faces because the lord's form is so attractive so attractive whoever see the lord they are completely attracted to him then took that form and disappeared from the men who had not performed austerities but had attained the lord's mercy though they are not qualified to see the form of the lord but lord's mercy lord himself came in front of them so they could see the lord they wanted to see the lord for long many years but suddenly lord made his form disappear after 120 years he disappears suddenly so that is understand after showing his form to the eyes of the world he again withdrew it and disappeared the verse does not say he gave up the body krishna nandaba established this the body which lord krishna left behind is like a magician creating a dead body after magic is over again he comes back so what was the dead body it is only magic or oh, illusion it is not the real dead body so like that in order to bring forth kali yuga lord krishna left behind a illusory body and he also created illusory scene that they just killing each other fighting with each other so these two are illusory actually in that sense from that moment onwards the moment lord krishna departed kali entered those with sleeping intelligence kali did not affect those who had discrimination the thief steals wealth from a sleeping person in the night time when a thief comes he only sees in the house where there are no lights are switched on where everyone is sleeping then only enters if people are awake why a thief will enter same way kali will only enter those who are those who have sleeping intelligence kali cannot affect those people who have the intel proper intelligence of discrimination what is what so it is in so this is how the moment lord departed lord disappeared kali yuga began kali entered the contrary intelligence Uh, in the modern world we see that there are uh, modern scientific development a little louder they will also hear scientific development has been uh, made hmm. especially after the renaissance period how will how to understand that because there are also been a lot of intellectual capacity to hmm. make that advance that is material intelligence this is scriptural intelligence if you remember bhagavad gita chapter 18 uh, understanding in the mode of goodness understanding in the mode of passion understanding in the mode of ignorance understanding in the mode of goodness is they are very clear what is dharma what is adharma understanding in the mode of passion they are confused 50 50 it could be dharma it could be adharma so a confusion and in the mode of ignorance they are very pakka dharma they say that dharma is adharma adharma is dharma so that is the nature of kali yuga in satya yuga and trita yuga the mode of goodness is prominent 
in these two yuga they know what is dharma what is adharma in dwapara yuga the mode of passion is prominent they are confusion what is dharma what is adharma that's why gambling match draupadi is asking everyone either dharma whether how can my husband wage me in the gambling match bishma says dharma understanding the principles of dharma is very critical i don't know what is right what is wrong at this time oh confusion is for time pe and then in kali yuga they are very pakka determined scriptures what scriptures you are all fanatics these are all uh, what what they call they call actually primitive concepts of uh, very probably they say that these are all mythology and science huh this is the savior of the world something like that no offenses to scientists but that is how the people say outside what to speak of people outside even in your family also all of you are trying to practice some bhakti your grandchildren mm-hmm. what they will say mm-hmm. grandchildren children also children also <laughs> Interesting and interesting story. Then. Okay, okay. No problem. Children are grandchildren. Next generation. Yeah, we can see like that. So that is the situation now. But uh, in the in the generation said the people are uh, more the intellectual. Religion was in more of goodness, but then where when previous uh, yugas. Ah yes. that also we don't see that such scientific development took place now how much history you know about the previous yugas okay forget about the previous yugas in kali yuga only till now 5120 years are passed how many years history you know ha huh? oh, so kali yuga bare mein pakko pata nahi then what to speak of the other yugas we don't know the other yugas are much scientifically developed than current even material oh of course why not Astinapur got its name because the city is war flooded with elephants. They have huge palaces, big, big, big palaces. Now we don't have so many palaces. The technology was very uh, advanced in the previous years. Don't worry. Don't be proud of the current te- modern technology. So, ah. Uh, all the weapons now anyone can see what is happening in the other part of the world but in 5000 years ago we we know not anyone can see can you see by the tv and ha uh-huh. use of cameras we can see wo dekh ke hamara halat kharab ho gaya at least in the past it was not there they are happy they are quite happy your happiness is stolen away by all these electronic gadgets starting with radio then television then uh, what else computer then uh, mobile internet they have taken they stole away your valuable wealth the most important wealth of human being is time that is stolen away at least in the past they had all 24 hours for them now hardly we are not even getting 6 hours to sleep also mera halat waise hua tha kal raat ko class tha class ke baad mai kuch kar raha tha टाइम चला गया ग्यारह बजे जाके सो गए नींद नहीं है बारह बजे तक ऐसे लेटे हुआ था मॉर्निंग आई स्टार्टेड चैंडिंग आई वाज फीलिंग डोजिंग ऑफ केम बैक एंड स्लेप्ट फॉर सम टाइम दैट इज द सिचुएशन सो डोंट वरी वी हैव टू प्रे प्राइस नथिंग कम्स फॉर फ्री वी मे बी प्राउड ऑफ ऑल दीस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गैजेट्स बट वी डोंट नो व्हाट वी आर लूजिंग द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट थिंग इन आवर लाइफ वी आर लूजिंग वी मे बी प्राउड ऑफ बीइंग कॉल्ड एज ग्रेट गेट इंजीनियर्स great great doctors but we are losing so much time at least in the past they used to have a lot of free time even 500 years back the devotees from mayapur they used to come to jagannath puri spend 4 months to be with chaitanya mahaprabhu how many days we can take off there is a side effect of all this technology that is the only effect not side effect the direct effect why did that they in the state it was not there no no it was there it was, it was there to the extent needed for people it was see that's what we discussed in one of the class the news ke bare mein hum discuss kiya na when vidura came to astinapur it is not required then there is no need 
then whatever news is required that will be known to people the arrangements were there jitna chahiye utna humko milta tha abhi humko sab dekh raha tha kurukshetra bat pe kya kya ho raha hai no facility of telephone ha no only landline was there he is spreading krishna consciousness all over the world yeah there are good effects but in the class we'll discuss only bad effects <laughs> so we'll continue now kali entered then what happened yudhishthira maharaj getting prepared to follow the path of lord krishna yudhishthiras tat parisarpanam buda pure cha rashtre cha grihe tad atmani vibhavya loban ruta jimma himsanadi अधर्म चक्रम गमनाय पर्यदात हमारा ज्योतिष्ठर बस इंटेलिजेंट इनफ टू अंडरस्टैंड द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ एज ऑफ कली कैरेक्टराइज्ड बाय इंक्रीजिंग कैवराइज स्लैश फॉल्स फूड चीटिंग एंड वायलेंस थ्रू द कैपिटल स्टेट होम एंड अमंग इंडिविजुअल्स सो ही वाइजली प्रिपेयर्ड हिमसेल्फ टू लीव होम एंड ही ड्रेस्ड अकॉर्डिंगली हां Why is Yudhishthira? Yudhishthira is that Parisarpanam Buddha. He is called as Buddha, the most intelligent Yudhishthira, seeing the wheel of illusion, Adharma Chakram, Gamanaya, Pariyadad, seeing the wheel of illusion, consisting of loba, greed, anrata, false speech or lying, jigma, dishonesty, imsa. and violence himsana adi etc many other but since shloka only you have to put only some 16 syllables you can't write more so he has limited he said adi all whatever you can think of spreading everywhere in towns where all it is spreading pure in towns rashtre rashtre is basically the paths connecting one place to other place the roads all the passages gurhe in every house and atmani within every personality within every body kali spread everywhere dressed himself suitably to live understanding that the adharma chakra is in action and how its action is spread all over it is spread in the form of loba andrata jigma imsa etc etc kama loba mada moha masara and other bad quality they are spreading everywhere So Yudhishthira Maharaj does not want to stay any more. He prepared physically himself to leave from this world. Till now he was a king. He was in kingly attire. He is removing the kingly attire. He was wearing the attire which is suitable for a one person. He is getting prepared to go to north. Pariyadat means he put on the appropriate clothing for. Traveling to North, having taken to Vana Prastha Ashram. The Prabhupada writes in the purport that Pandava Sar, the eternal associate of the Supreme Lord. So wherever Lord is there, they will be there. Since Lord requested to come down, they came down. They assisted Lord in his past times. Lord left. Now they want to go back to Lord Sabu. So this is the nature of the eternal associate of the Supreme Lord. So in that way, they are getting prepared to go back. Then on the contrary, Prabhupada talks about the modern leaders. Prabhupada writes, modern politicians should take lessons from Maharaj Dushira about voluntary retirement from the active life, and should make room for the younger generation. Also, retired old gentlemen should take lessons from him and leave home for spiritual realization before forcefully dragged away to meet death. Prabhupada actually very harsh in such statements. In the last chapter also he was very harsh. When Dhritarashtra's discussion was there, Prabhupada was very harsh in his statements. Because unfortunately the situation is like that. At least in the past, if some elderly people goes out of home, they will be taken care. But now there is no one to take care. And especially politicians, they want to die as a minister. They even till death they want to continue as. Many of. Propose that hundred people they should do, retire, 
they should give chance to the younger generation. So that we will see in the next verse. Next verse, how Yudhishthira Maharaj is doing the same. Till now he was the king. Since the time of Mahabharata battle, after becoming victorious, he ruled for 35 years. After Mahabharata battle, only Parishit Maharaj was born. Because uh, during the battle, he was in the womb of the mother, Uttara. So maybe a few months later of the battle, he was born. So he is growing now. Now he also must be 35 years old. So he is good enough to become the king. So now Yudhishthira Maharaj, what is doing? Swarat Pautram Viniyatam Atmana Susama Gunai Toyani Vyapatim Bumer Abhyasinchad Gajavaye Thereafter, in the capital of Hastinapura, he enthroned his grandson, who was trained and equally qualified as the emperor and master of all land bordered by the seas. Yeah. The king, that is King uh, Yudhishthira Maharaj, enthroned in Astinapura his grandson Parikshit, who had observed the rules suitable for kings and had qualities equal to his own as master of the land surrounded by the ocean. So Yudhishthira Maharaj saw that Parikshit Maharaj is similar to himself. We have seen in the previous chapter, 12th chapter, in good qualities, Parikshit will be like the grandfather, Pitamaha. So Pitamaha can be called as, Brahma can be called as Pitamaha, Yudhishthira Maharaj also can be called as Pitamaha. So he has the qualities as like, like that of Yudhishthira Maharaj or like that of Brahma. So he is most qualified to become the king. So understanding that he is qualified to be the king, he made him the king. Because when they are going to the forest, the new person should be made a king. Then they can go on one prasad. So taking this eklu, Prabhupada writes very uh, strongly in the purport. So I'm reading from the middle of the purport. The only reason is that the people of the world were happy because of the good administration of the emperor. The happiness of the citizens was due to the ample production of natural produce, such as grains, fruit, milk, herbs, valuable stones, minerals, and everything that the people needed. They were even free from all bodily miseries, anxieties of mind, and disturbances caused by natural phenomenon and other living beings. Adhyatmika, Adhibhautika, Adhidavika, Klesha. If you remember, there was one verse, Bhagavad Gita chapter 3. This uh, kind of encapsulates this, uh, this particular discussion here. Annat Bhavanti Bhutani, Parjanyat Annasambhava. Egnyat Bhavanti Parjanya, Egnya Karma, Sambhava. The main duty of the king, when it comes to karma, the main, one of the main duty of the king is administration. Administration means overseeing whatever the people needed are provided sufficiently. Okay. But everything that we need comes from material nature. In the sense, whatever for us we need, for example, we need clothes. Which comes from the plants. We need food, comes from the plants. We need house, which also comes from the plants and earth, like bricks or uh, other wooden furniture, everything on the plants and earth. So all these things depend upon water. The plants grow, food grains grow, everything based on water. So Annat Bhavanti Bhutani, Parjanyat, Annasambhava. So our food and other other items that we needed, they depend on rain. Without rain, uh, they depend on plants and other living entities. So they come, they are grown because of the rain. Rain comes by the performance of Ajna. So Ajna is also one of the important activity of the king. A king is supposed to perform Ajna on behalf of the entire kingdom. And for that Ajna, the entire countrymen is supposed to sponsor whatever they, they can sponsor. The Brahmana, they come and perform the Ajna by chanting Vedic mantras and other things. The Vaishya sponsor whatever they needed. The grains they sponsor, the ghee they sponsor and all other things, whatever they have, because Vaishyas are supposed to be taking care of the cows. They will be having a lot of milk products they will provide. And the Shudra community will provide uh, manual effort. They personally come and do the needful in arranging everything and etc. taking care of everyone, etc. etc. So like that, everyone had their role to play. And the king will perform under his supervision. Everything will happen. So that is the responsibility of king. Bringing everyone together, he need to perform Ajna. When Ajna is performed, the devatas will get their food. They are nourished. 
when they are nourished, they will provide whatever they are supposed to provide. Indra will provide rain, Vayu will provide rain, air, sun will provide sunlight, moon will provide moonlight. If they are not taken care properly, we will have situations like what we have now. Every summer is increasing more and more temperature. <laughs> Winter is increasing more and more cold. Rain season also sometimes more rain, sometimes no rains. At some places there are floods, some places there are no rains. So that's what happens. Things go out of order. So when things are not happening properly. So it's the king's responsibility to take care of the human beings here, animals here, plants here, also devatas there. It is the king's responsibility to take care of everyone in the entire universe in that sense. If king is not doing that, order will go out of order. The same way here Prabhupada is saying that whatever we need, so everything depends on the ruler. Because everyone was happy in all respects. There was no resentment, although there were sometimes battles between the kings for political reasons and supremacy. Even though when there are battles, we discussed in the previous class, the Naran people are not at all affected. Battle would happen in the barren land where the, both the parties will come and fight. Oh, throughout the day, night, they take the shag and next day morning they fight. But nowadays, battles are not like that. Battle means they, do, they throw bombs in the cities, at least especially in the dead of night when everyone is sleeping. That is the nature of Kaluga. They understand that dharma is the dharma, dharma is the dharma. The kings don't fight. <laughs> the battle happens between the cities. So it is like that. At least in the part, in the past, the common people are not at all involved in the battles. Only the kings used to fight. But now which king is fighting? Which leaders are fighting? They are the most ah. So that is Kaliva. Everyone was trained to attain the highest goal of life and therefore the people were also enlightened enough to quarrel over sorry the people were also enlightened enough not to quarrel over trivials, trivialities the influence of the age of Kali gradually infiltrated the good qualities of both the kings and the citizens and therefore a tense situation developed between the ruler and the ruled. But still, even in this age of disparity between the ruler and the and ruled, there can be spiritual emolument and God consciousness. That is a special prerogative. So, even though Kaluga is there all around, the rulers and the citizens and the rulers are entirely the opposite. Their expectations are entirely different. But still, there is a chance that people can practice Krishna consciousness and can go back home back to order. That chance is there. If intelligence is kept in proper order. So, in that way. He enthroned as king Parikshit. Sorry, he enthroned as king Parikshit, who had observed rules for prop, proper for a king and who was equal in all good qualities to himself. So, in that way. So, Parshit was made the next king for the entire land. So, then, so Parshit was made the king of Hastinapur. Then, Vajranab was made as king of Madura. Maturayam tata vajram surasena patim tata prajapatyam nirupeshtim agnein apibad ishwara. Then he posted Vajra, the son of Aniruddha, grandson of Lord Krishna, at Madura as a king of Surasena. Afterwards, Maharaj Yudhishthira performed a prajapatya sacrifice and placed in himself the fire for quitting household life. Yeah. Yudhishthira Maharaj also enthroned Vajra at the king of Surasena in Madura province. And then being capable, capable of performing Prajapatya sacrifice, placed within himself the fires. So now the process of getting renounced is being explained in the next two, three verses. Vajra was the son of Anidudha, who was the son of Pradyumna, who was the son of Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna and Rukmini, they had son Pradyumna. Pradyumna's son was Aniruddha. Aniruddha's son was Vajra. So he was made the king. Okay, Pradyumna Aniruddha also disappeared through the battle. 
so in that way so here also propa writes very strongly these corporates are all very strong so propa writes in the third line i'm reading fourth line the system of four orders of life and four castes varnashram system in terms of quality and work known as varnashram dharma is the beginning of a real human life and mara yudhishthira the protector of the system of human activities timely retired from active life as a sanyasi actually not as a sanyasi it is supposed to be as a vanaprastha because kshatriyas generally don't take sanyasa they are entering to vanaprastha order handing over the charge of the administration to a trained prince maharaj parikshit because proper right sanyasi vikas here we don't see anywhere somebody called as vanaprasthas we have only two three category people grossas are sanyasis some may be like brahmacharis but generally grossas and sanyasis we don't hear or we don't see someone being called as vanaprastha that's why proper right sanyasi basically renounced so then couple of lines later propad writes everyone's life must be arranged that the last stage of life say at least the last 15 to 20 years prior to death can be absolutely devoted to devotional service of the lord to attain highest perfection of life it is really foolishness to engage oneself all the days of one's life in material enjoyment and fruitive activities because as long as the mind remains absorbed in food to work for material enjoyment there is no chance of getting out of there is no chance of getting out from conditioned life or material bondage no one should follow the suicidal policy of neglecting one's supreme task of attaining the highest perfection of life namely namely going back home back to target no one should follow the suicidal policy of neglecting one's supreme task of attaining the highest perfection of life namely going back home back to god so propas says like that hari krishna devotees online able to follow yes prabhu ji yes prabhu yes prabhu ji yes prabhu ji so propa saying that all of us should make a plan such a way that we should have a retirement plan just like you just tomorrow retiring everyone should retire from active life and prepare for going back home back to god visrujya tatra tassarvam dukula valaya adikam nirmamo nirahankara sanchinna shesha vandana maharaja yudhishthira at once relinquished all his garments belt and ornaments of the royal order and became completely disinterested and unattached to everything right so then what did you do giving up all clothing and bracelets since he was a king he was like ornamented with all the gold ornaments silk clothing mukut etc etc he has kept removed everything he was free of the thought of i and mine nirmama nirahankara nir ahankara means iness i am this i am the king of the entire earth till now you may be thinking like that but now having kept the mukut aside now there is no identity that i am the king no i concept and nirmama means no concept of mine so you might be thinking till now that okay this entire land is my kingdom this is my family these are my family members these are my citizens these are my brahmanas like that you might be thinking so now having kept the throne away he has no concept of me and mine nirmamo nirahankara ah hamma meeting senti ah means ahankara mama means mama kara and the unlimited bonds of attraction he was also free of unlimited bonds of attraction sanchinna ashesha bandana there are so many bonds till now being a king he has to take care of these people these people these people like there so many bondages are there he has so many duties now he is free of all the duties all the responsibilities all the obligations having kept the throne aside so then vacham juha manasi 
तत्तरे चुसर्गम तम पंच Then he amalgamated all the sense organs into the mind. Then the mind into life, life into breathing, his total existence into the embodiment of five elements, and his body into death. Then, as a pure self, he became free from the material conception of life. Yeah. So now he is really getting into the concept of renunciation. The concept of renunciation. We this verse and next verse we'll see how it is. Little technical, but try to pay. This this entire thing we will be able to discuss elaborately in the second canto when the creation topic is explained. Then we can clearly understand what is what. But still, we try to understand now. Yudhishthir Maharaj offered the voice and other senses into the mind. We have five nyanendriyas, five karmendriyas. All the senses have different functions. They perform various activities under the supervision of mind. Mind is their boss. Though the senses are independent, but still they are they act under the control of mind. Whatever mind says, the senses will perform. Okay. So what he did? He offered the voice and all other senses into the mind. Till now, Yudhishthir Maharaj as a person using his mind. To engage his senses, so his senses were in his control. He is the ultimate boss. But now he says that senses are not mine; they actually belong to mind. I'll give them to mind. Though I am, I was using all the senses till date, but they actually don't don't belong to me. They actually belong to mind. Let me offer them to mind. He offered them to mind means he is not going to use any senses for himself. They belong to the mind only. Huh? Not now. Let us go through the entire cycle. Then, commonly, we'll I'll explain you. And then, he offered the mind into prana. The mind belongs to prana. The boss for the mind is prana. Prana means breathing. There are so many pranas. Ten pranas are there: prana, apana, samana, udana, vyana, etc., etc. But main are two. Prana, apana are main two. So he offered the mind to the prana. If we don't breathe, can our mind think? Can our senses act? No. As long as we breathe, only we perform activities. So, breathe is the super boss of senses and the boss of mind. So, he is saying that these senses are actually belonging to the mind. I was using till now. I will give them to mind. And then he says that this mind actually belongs to prana. I was using it till now. I will give it to prana. Okay. Then he says that prana into apana. The prana actually belongs to apana. Though I was using it now, I will give it to his own boss, Apana. Then he says that Apana, along with the excretion function, actually belongs to death. He gave Apana and excretion the Apana unto death, and the death belongs to the body. Atma has no death. It is the body has the death. So he offered the death to the body. Confusing, na? Is it like the yogi process which Sridharsh? Uh, no, not yeah, something like that. Same thing. See, this is na why because I want to take the whole loop. This body is not ours. Atma was given something so with which we can use. Okay, forget about the body. Take take the example of a house. All of us are born and brought up and studied somewhere. We have got job in Mumbai. We came here. We joined in the company, and immediately the immediate requirement is for us to stay a place. We rent a house. We stay in that house. As long as we are in that house, we use every nook and corner of that house as if it belongs to us. Yes, we keep. Dining table, dressing table, and study table, kitchen, where you see kitchen ingredients and utensils, and everything we keep at different places, and we use it as if it belongs to us only. But when the right time comes, when our job transfer is there from Bombay to Delhi, so we have to vacate. 
so for example there is a there is one way we can purchase other way we can take things on rent I mean, room we have taken on rent similarly all the ingredients we have in the, all the furniture we have in the house that also we have taken on rent that we know that we only are going to stay one year only in mumbai so for one year we have taken everything on rent so when you are vacating the room what we will do this furniture does not belong to me this owner is that person give it to him this house does not belong to me it belongs to somebody owner give it to him it's like that we will give everything to other people something like that this body is given to us the eyes nostrils and the ears and hands like everything is given to us currently we are in these are all rented properties when time comes we have to give them back to their original master the master of the senses is mind the master of the mind is prana the master of the prana is apana the master of the apana is death the master of the death is body intelligence is also servant of mind we hear that uh, mind is uh, um, intelligence is above the mind there is a different understanding also that uh, we need to go to vakshya class once again so we will understand this in the second canto very uh, more elaborately there are two counterparts of intelligence one is buddhi other one is chitta they are interchangeably used chitta is chetana or consciousness buddhi is intelligence okay so the function of the five gnanendriyas five knowledge acquiring senses we have five senses the ears we hear the skin we get the touch sensation the eyes we see and the tongue we taste the nostril we smell so whatever information we acquire through these five senses is immediately analyzed by intelligence intelligence will tell us what is what there are five senses are getting information it is processed by the intelligence and intelligence will tell what is what when we see it is intelligence will tell that this door is in somewhat brownish color okay and these walls are light gray and this pillar is cream color etc something like that Intelligence is not an inbuilt quality. Is it inbuilt quality? He told me this is a good. I understand. Yeah, in the beginning it is understood like that, but it is stored. It is programmed like that, so it will act accordingly. We are not talking the, the telling of something at the very beginning. At the very beginning, as an infant, everything needs to be told. intelligence is not an inbuilt quality that's what i mean no the quality of intelligence is discrimination yeah it discriminates what is what dravya spurana vijnanam the function of the intelligence is it tells us what kind of matter we are dealing with its matter has all the qualities this is a table it has got particular height particular width particular length particular texture particular color all these things will be analyzed by intelligence it is intelligence will tell us what is what in relation to matter the five gnana indias intelligence put together are one faculty they will give us what is what the information of what is what and the experience with that observation is stored in the mind the experience with that observation is stored in the mind are you getting we go to temple hall today chandana yatra festival is going on we see that it is darshan is very nice the understanding of that nice the experience of the nice thing the nice darshan is stored in the mind huh? mind intelligence so in mind so intelligence just stored in the mind that's all experience is stored in the mind it is intelligence will reveal what is what intelligence will reveal that okay today the eyes are seeing but intelligence will tell that today gopal ji darshan is very beautiful and the backdrop there are so many banana leaves and in the front there are so many coconuts some of them are open some of them are not open in those open coconut there is straw so that whenever lord want he can drink etc etc this is what is told by intelligence the eyes are seeing intelligence is analyzing and it is telling what is what 
the mind is storing the experience. Okay, today wonderful experience. And after that, there was wonderful class. The ears are hearing. I are seeing Radha Gopinath Prabhu. Ears are hearing the words of Radha Gopinath Prabhu. Okay, today the lecture is also very nice. Then come down, give the coupon, take plate, take a seat, and then start eating. Then the tongue will tell that. Okay, today kichdi is very spicy, and kichdi is very hot. Then uh, mind says, oh, it is very hot. Wait for some time. Or spread it all through the plate so that it becomes cool, eatable. So it's like that. The experience stored in the mind. The senses will see, will get the information. It is intelligence will analyze and tell what is what. Intelligence will tell that okay, good kitchen. The taste of kichdi is very spicy. So they order a lot of chili powder or something like that. The experience of feeling uh, so much spiciness is stored in the mind. The next Sunday when we come to temple, when again we see same uh, Shungar darshan of Gopalji, then the mind will pop up. The last week we have seen the darshan. It was with the backdrop of the green coconut leaves, coconut ne, banana leaves, oh. and in the front so many coconut fruits are there. And today the darshan is uh, like uh, Lord Narsingadev. Next Sunday is Narsingha Devi Chaturthi, so Darshan might be like Nara Narsingha Dev. So the mind will compare the experiences. So the previous experience and current experience it will compare. And after the Bhagavatam class, when we go down, of course there is no prasadam. If at all there is, and then the week after that, again we come down. Then the mind will tell that, okay, last time when you tasted it, it was spicy. So take little, don't take full. So take little, if it is feel nice, then again come back and take. So that's how these all, one upon the other, they coordinate with each other to work. Yes. But uh, then it is said that uh, Apana was given to the death, mm. and death was given to the body. Yes. So are they also elements? Not elements, they are functions. Whom the death belongs to? Who will go through the death? Body, you know? The death is bodies. Death belongs to the body. Death never belongs to Atma. Who is going through that function that belongs to the person? A master only can do some activity through the servants. Whatever activity the master is getting done means the servant belongs to him only. It is the grass body goes through the death. So death belongs to grass body. And birth also belongs to grass body. Birth and death only belongs to grass body. In the next verse it says that body is made up of Pancha Mahabhutas, Phaidatus. This body, grass body, what we externally pursue and see and deal with it every interaction is made up of earth, water, fire, river. And they go through the concept of death. As long as one is alive, the death comes through Apana Vayu. And when person is alive, Apana Vayu takes, uh, gives all the responsibility to Prana Vayu, and Prana Vayu makes the body work. That means as long as we breathe, body functions. When we stop breathing, then Atma takes shelter of Apana. Apana will take the soul out of the body. That is called death. Life is based on Pranavayu. Death is based on Apanavayu. Now he is getting, uh, preparing for death. Na? That's why we are talking about Apanavayu. So, Yudhishthira Maharaj left his body here only? It is. See, he is not leaving the body. He is saying that he is mentally preparing. So, till now I was using senses in my service. Now, senses actually do not belong to me. Like I am telling now, now person is going from Bombay to Delhi. Bombay, to give them, you will use. No, you have to give So once you give them, you will use. That means he will be having all these things in the body, but he will not use them for himself. For example, simple thing. Hastinapur Palace, he was living till now. He has made Parishit Maharaj the next king. Will Parishit Maharaj say that? You, you made me king. You cannot stay in the palace. You get, get lost. Will he say? He will not say. 
Yudhishthira can use all the palace facilities, but once he has given to him, he says, now they belong to you. They don't belong to me. I don't have any work with them. I don't have any connection to them. That is detachment. This is the one need to prepare for death. Even though we may be staying in home at the time of retirement, in spite of staying in the home, we should not have the possession, the possessive feeling of the home. That is Nirmama Nirahankara. In the past, people could go practically to the Vanaprasa Ashram. But now what we can do at least is stay home only. But don't become, don't remain attached to the home when that ripe age comes. Let everything given to the next generation stay there. They will take care, but remain indifferent to all the things. Just focus on Krishna consciousness. That is that can be practical nowadays. Nowadays, we cannot go on Vanaprasada. There is no Vana to go to Vanaprasada. <laughs> and even our body condition also very bad. By the time one becomes old, already full of diseases. How can one can live if, if at all one goes to forest? One cannot live only. It is a very painful situation. So stay home only, but not attached to any of the facilities. Stay indifferent to all the facilities and focus 24 by 7 on Krishna consciousness. That is what one person we can think of in the modern day Kaliva. So something like that. He is still his body is there. He is not giving up the body, but he is giving up the uh, we cannot say attachment, the understanding, the yeah, possessiveness he is giving up. Okay, these are actually belongs to them till now. I have used. Position. time hoga iska. Is a good use. That we will see in the next verse. Right. He will not be speaking only. He will become Jadavat. Become Jadavat. We will we'll read that next verse. It comes. Like Arjuna, Yudhishthira attempts to stop the senses from acting externally. Vacham represents all senses. Only one is used, Vacham, but that indicates all the senses. He offered all the senses to the mind because the senses are dependent on the mind. He offered the mind into prana because the mind is dependent on prana. He gave the mind to the prana. Oh mind, I have given the senses to you. Oh mind, I have given the senses to you. Actually the senses belongs to you. Thank you very much for allowing me to use all these days. Now please take back your senses. Just like furniture. Thank you very much for giving me and rent for one year. Now please take back your furniture. Something like that. They are yours. I have no use for them now. So now I am leaving from this place. I am going to Delhi. I cannot carry all these things all the way up to Delhi. So please take. This is the contemplation. This is the only contemplation in the in the heart he is making all the plan. It's so like completely complete control of mind and senses can only do this. Uh, normal people cannot do it. We can't even indulge also. He offered the mind into prana. He offered the prana into apana, the in charge of excretion. He offered the prana and excretion into death, the preceding deity of excretion. In offering voice and other senses and mind and prana, it should be understood that he also offered the actions such as speaking, thinking, etc. Speaking by the mouth, thinking by the mind, they also offered. That means he is not going to speak, he is not going to think with the mind. He is not going to smell fragrant items. He may breathe, but he will not smell. He is not going to see for his own enjoyment. He may see just to understand where to go. He may not see, okay, the enjoyable scenic places, something like that, not like that. And then, he offered death into the combination of five grass elements, the body. His meditation was, oh death, you belong to the body. So in that way. So till now, he was not worried about death. Now he is thrilling the death. So my dear death, please come. You belong to the body. You do the needful. In that way. Next he continues the same thing. The next verse also continuation of the same thing. Tritve hutva cha panchatvam juho muni. Sarvam Atmani Ajuva Ajuhavit Brahmani Atmana Mavyaye. Thus, annihilating the gross body of five elements into the three 
qualitative modes of material nature. He measured them in one new science and then observed the new science in the self, Brahman, which is inexhaustible in all circumstances. So, here again continuation. Death was offered to the body. And uh, body is made up of Panchama Bhutas in one level. Otherwise, body is made up of 24 elements in another way. Now, what he is doing? He offered the body into three gunas. Whether it is Panchama Bhutas or 24 elements, they actually manifest from three modes of material nature. Three gunas. Sattva guna, Rajya guna and Tamaguna. So, he offered the 24 elements. He offered the body made up of 24 elements into three gunas. And then, he offered the three gunas into Prakriti. The three gunas belongs to Prakriti. He offered the three gunas to the Prakriti. Then he offered Prakriti into Jiva. Prakriti belongs to Jiva. What was the verse? Bhagavad Gita chapter 7, text number 4 and 5. Devotees online. Bhagavad Gita chapter 7, text number 4 and 5. Then, anyone else? What is the next verse? Anyone here? Bhakti Shastris. Bhumi Rapo Nalavayu Kammano Buddhirevacha Ahankara Miti Yamme Binna Prakruti Ashtada. The Prakruti manifests in the form of these eight elements. If you go into details, it is manifests in the 24 elements. Apareya Mitasvanni. The material nature consisting of these 24 elements is called as Apareyam Mitasvu Anyam. Prakrutim Vidhime Param. Jiva Bhuta Mahabaho Eedam Dharyate Jagat. So there are two Prakrutis. One is Apara Prakruti, other one is Para Prakruti. And all these 24 elements are called as Apara Prakruti. That is material energy. Bahiranga Shakti. Binna Prakruti or Bahiranga Shakti. And superior to them is Para Shakti. That is Jiva Bhuta. That is, that is what we call Tata Shakti. Eedam Dharyate Jagat. Having come to this material world, the jiva enjoys with the help of these 24 material elements. The 24 elements are actually supposed to be under the control of jiva. But unfortunately, having come here, we become controlled by the 24 elements. And we try to do whatever they demand. We, the five senses are actually given to us so that we can use them. But they are controlling us. The mind will tell us, today go here, today go there, today eat here, today... Tomorrow eat there. Go for this party. Go for that party. The mind will propose. And the senses will act. Tongue will tell you today this restaurant, tomorrow that restaurant, here, there, etc. etc. They are actually giving us demands to fulfill. And we follow it. So we come under the control. But actually, all these 24 elements are supposed to be under the control of Jiva, who is superior, who is Parashakti. So, since technically they are superior, Yudhishthira Maharaj is offering all these 24 elements to three gunas, three gunas to Prakriti, Prakriti to Jiva. And finally, he is offering the Jiva into indestructible Krishna. Basically, he has said that Brahmani Atmanam Avye. Brahman, which is called as Avye Atma, inexhaustible Paramatma, unto him he is giving. Technically, it is called Brahman here, but since they are devotees of Lord Krishna, Yudhishthira Maharaj offering Jiva along with Prakriti into Lord Krishna. No, no, Jiva is not Brahman. Brahman is Krishna. Brahman Paramatma. Huh? Jiva Atma. Ah, yes. Jiva can be translated as Atma, soul. Ah, yes. Jiva means living entity. Atma or soul. Here na Atmani, here na this is Atma. So, Sarvam Atmani Ajuvad Brahmani Atmanam Avyaye. So, he is offering that Jiva into 
indestructible krishna so in the proper says this atmanam ena this atma is the soul the brahman is transcendence basically lord krishna here in the current context since this is pandavas they are offering themselves their own soul to lord krishna so in that He offered the body of five elements into the three gunas, sattva, rajas, tama. Then he offered the three gunas into one aggregate, prakriti, a portion of Maya. Then he offered that prakriti into Jiva, saying that, "Oh Jiva, this portion of Maya, which is called prakriti, consisting of three modes, which is also called as pradana, is actually yours. Remain separate from that and do not come under its control." Yudhishthira is saying that. Though this prakriti consisting of three modes belongs to you, never come under its control. Stay separate. If you come under its control, you are bewildered, you are illusioned, you are bound. It is yours. I am offering it to you. Stay separate. Then he offered jiva into the Brahman. Basically, he offered jiva. He offered himself to Lord Krishna. Till now, he has so many other duties as a king. He was thinking himself as the king. He is taking care of all the people, citizens, family members, etc. He has so many other duties. Now he has no duties. Everything is done. No connection. Now the soul is offered to Krishna. So in that way, offering the kingdom to Parikshit, Madhura to offering Astinapur to Parikshit, Madhura to Vajra, distancing himself from all those relationships, he became oblivious to the external world. Offering the senses and rest to their respective controllers, he became oblivious to the internal functions. The kingdom was given to Parikshit Maharaj, the external world. Whatever is there in the body, it was given to the Atma, and Atma was given to Paramatma or Bhagwan. So internally, कुछ काम नहीं, but externally कुछ काम नहीं. Now he is free, he is completely free, completely renounced, completely free bird. No obligation, no duty in this world. The jiva belongs to Krishna or Brahman. From but devotee's point of view, jiva belongs to Krishna. From normal jnani's and yogi's point of view, jiva belongs to Brahman. The aggregate of Maya belongs to the jiva. Now it is a reverse order. Jiva belongs to Brahman, and Maya or Prakriti belongs to jiva. Three gunas belongs to Prakriti. The twenty-four elements which is body is made that they belong to three gunas. Okay. And the body belongs to death because the body goes through death and birth and death. Body belongs to death. A death belongs to body. And apana belongs to death because through apana only one gets death. And apana belongs to prana because as long as one is living, one need to depend upon prana. And uh, then mind belongs to prana. Senses belong to mind. Sense objects belong to senses. The sense objects belong to the senses. The enjoyer of the sense objects is Parikshit, not me. Now, the sense objects means the entire world. The, with the senses, we are dealing with the external world only, na? We are seeing, we are seeing the people of this world or this world itself, or we are smelling the fragrance of the garden of this world. We are eating the food which is grown in this world. Everything belongs to this world. Now, we say that the sense objects which I was enjoying until now, not for enjoyment per se, for living only. Whatever he was using, now they belong to Parikshit because everything was given to Parikshit Maharaj. This kingdom now belongs to Parikshit Maharaj. I don't have any right to stay here anymore. This is renunciation. A renounced person will think like this. Nothing belongs to me in this world. So since Atma is offered to Supreme Lord. And along with Atma, everything is offered to the Supreme Lord. That is called Atma Nivedana. Now I don't have any activity for myself. Whatever I may perform, every activity is for Lord only. The, after renunciation, one performs all the activities only for the service of the Supreme Lord, not for oneself, not for one's own friends and relatives, not for one's near and dear. That is the real understanding of renunciation.
Hare Krishna, are you able to follow devotees online? Yes, Prabhu. Please read this afterwards, after going home. We will send the slides. These two slides we read. This is the proper understanding of uh, pronunciation. Very tough job, very difficult. But if you do, we are the most happiest person in this entire world. Whoever does this, they are the most happiest person in the entire world. And they are ready to go back home, back to Godhead. Simple, the same example. Once you vacate the home, do you have any right to the on that home? No, no. no. Same way. Ah, yes, the entire kingdom is belonging to King Parishit Maharaj. Now he the king, he will enjoy the kingdom. I cannot enjoy the kingdom now. After you vacate the house, somebody else comes to that house. Will you continue to stay in that house? Huh? No. That person may be generous. He may allow you to stay for a few more days. But you being honest person, not supposed to stay. My tenure is over. It belongs to somebody else. That's all. Come on. Physically may not, but the attachment to the house be there. That's what that's what that's what the concept is. This, this belongs to you now. That's why we are bound in this material world. We have to give up that attachment. That is the meaning of renunciation. Now he is selling that. So his own body offered to Lord, the entire kingdom offered to Parishit Maharaj. He says that the entire kingdom is not meant for enjoyment. It belongs to Parishit Maharaj. Oh, unka enjoyment. Ke liye. Uh, even Parashuram also after giving charity to everyone in the entire kingdom, he said, I cannot stay here. He threw his axe. He excavated some land from the Konkan area. And he began to stay there. So once you give it to somebody else, we don't have any right to claim that. It, it also belongs to me. I only gave you, let me also enjoy, not like that. I have given you, it belongs to you, that's all. I have nothing. I have no right to it. So, in the context of today's world, staying in the same house and expectations of the family members are the same. Because, because we are not grown up with this understanding. Na? Yes. The understanding of the modern education system and modern uh, society norms are entirely different. You should have some example. One should have some examples like this. You have to set the example. <laughs> All of you are studying it, so you have to set the example for the next generations. Yes. Sometimes we give up the beginners to our son or some relative. And if they are not doing well properly, if they are maintaining, then we try to substitute them. Ah, yes. We still have that time. Try to substitute them by another person. Although we have given Yes. But even then we are thinking that why property? Yes, that is there. Because it is natural, na? You work very hard and you develop the business. You can't see it uh, dying. So you want to keep it in uh, at least as long as you are living, you want it to go it to go on normally. That is always there, uh, that uh, is always there. But if the next generation is trained properly, you are confident enough to take up renunciation very enthusiastically. If the next generation is not ready to take it up, you will not be able to take it. That's why we discussed that verse. He saw that Parashit Maharaj is well qualified to become the king. Yudhishthir Maharaj, when he is renouncing, he does not have even a trace of remorse. What will happen to the kingdom? He does not have that. So a parent can take renunciation very happily if the children are nicely trained. If the children are ready to take the responsibilities like the parents have taken care. Then there is no issue. So when they are not up to the mark, then there is always anxiety. That is the problem. That but is a big problem. Like massage, you always with ah, because Prabhupada trained his disciples very nicely. He is confident that his disciples will take, take after. They will take Krishna and his movement ahead. He was confident. He has seen examples also. So in that way. Same way when the parents are confident about their children, especially they will take care of me. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I live. So then they are confident to take on. 
feeling them. Nobody, every, anybody is, everybody is indispensable. That feeling is there. Main nahi hai to kya hoga? That feeling is there. That is attachment. But we should have that confidence. Just the way I have taken it. I have taken care of it. My son will also take care of it. When the father has that confidence, he will happily give it to the son. And he will become indifferent. When that is not there, he will still hook on to it. Yeah. Same way, mother-in-law confident the daughter-in-law will take care of the home. She will give the response to daughter-in-law. If she is not confident, she will not give. So, in that so this is the dynamics modern day. Oh, Prabhuji. Ah, yes, Prabhu. Uh, yeah, we can take this uh, as this also. Ke, jase, hai, kahawat hai, ke, put kaput to kadan sanche or put saput to kadan sanche. But love ye kyagar a chap beta to mara layake, to be tumko paisai katagar nigirotni, or beta gar nalayake, to be paisai katagar nigirotni, because you know ke nalayake to katami karega, or agar layake to apna por banalega. So we can be confident in that sense also. Ke, to, आज का कलयुग का कोई जीव प्राणी के तो नालायक ही है इसको कितना भी समझाओ वी कैन बी कॉन्फिडेंट इन दैट वे आल्सो इज इट ओके नो नो एक्चुअली देयर इज समथिंग रॉन्ग बेटा नालायक नहीं द ट्रेनर्स आर नॉट सो वेल द ट्रेनर्स आर नॉट ट्रेंड देयर चिल्ड्रन नाइसली ट्रेनर नालायक है आई एम नॉट सेइंग यू आर ओनली टेकिंग सेइंग दैट <laughs> the training is not given properly, so that's why the children have become like that. Ah, yes. Sometimes, even in spite of giving good training, also children may not take it up because of their past samskara. That is also there. But in generally, when children like that, we are not following the proper instructions. We are busy earning money, they are busy spending money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is not problem. That is the society norm. If you go against to it, you will be seen as a crazy person. Yes, Prabhu? Crazy man. So it's like that. I mean, what anyway? So you please read through these uh, these two slides afterwards also. This is a this is very difficult to follow, very difficult to implement, but we should note this. What is the understanding of renunciation? These two verses. So practically, we may not be able to do everything like this in Maharaj, but to the extent it is possible. So one should be able to do it. Yeah, the spirit. So slowly, slowly withdraw all the possessiveness from all the things that we have in. So when we withdraw the possessiveness, then we will be able to focus more and more Krishna conscious activities. Because as long as there is focus on other activities, that much time will be taken away from us. But this is not immediately, not prematurely, after renunciation. After the children are married, when they are settled, when they are ready to take up the responsibility, then responsibility should be given to them. Then the parents should withdraw from active family activities. Then they should focus on Krishna conscious activities, either practicing for themselves or preaching for the benefit of others, both so in that way. So now, the internally, the mentally contemplated that nothing belongs to me. He has given everything to their respect to owners. Ultimately, he has given himself to Lord Krishna. Atma Nivedan is also done. So now, externally, how he is going to behave? Having thought about it like that, having planned it, how does he respond now? Chiravasa niraharo Muka Murdaja Darshayan Atman Rupam Jadon Matta Pichashavat After that, Maharaja Yudhishthira dressed himself in torn clothing, gave up eating all solid foods, voluntarily became dumb and let his hair long loose. All this combined to make him look like an urchin or madman with no occupation. He did not depend on his brothers for anything. And just like a deaf man, he heard nothing. Yeah. So then externally, how does he behave now? He wore torn cloth. Till date, he, till date he was wearing silken cloth with golden embroidery, golden mukut, golden jewelry. Everything was elegant. He was the 
monarch of the entire surface of the earth. So he cannot be like ordinary person. He is as good as a devata. He is elegantly dressed. Now he is wearing corn cloth. Huh? Photo. That means everything belongs to Parshit Maharaj. The leftover torn out cloths, which are not taken by anybody, he is taking. <laughs> So, which are discarded, he is taking them for his own use and did not eat. He is not eating any opulent food that is offered to the king. King means our deities are offered Rajbog. King also will be offered Rajbog, obviously. So, he is not eating this kind of things. Stopped speaking. Till now, we are speaking like on the authority of a king. Now, we stopped speaking. He is not speaking a word. Shaved his head. Till now, you was head is very well decorated very nicely, applying all Navratan tail, etc. So now, no hair only, fully shaved. And showed himself as a dumb, jada, as a insane, unmatta, as a ghost, Pishashavat. He is behaving as a jada, uh, as a insane, unmatta, mad person, and as a ghost. See, till yesterday he was wearing nice clothes. Suddenly, next day morning, when somebody comes and sees he is wearing the torn clothes, what do you say? Pagalonge. Why? Until yesterday he was speaking on the authority of a king, everything based on Shastra. Now he is not speaking anything. He is only murmuring. He might be chanting inside, but it appears to be like murmuring outside. What one thinks? Mad. Or, he is speaking to himself only, he is not speaking to anybody else. Somebody comes to address him, Maharaja and Pranam. He is not responding only. What do you mean by not responding? Mad, okay. And while meditating on the Supreme Lord's Nama Rupa Gondila, he might be going to bliss. He is acting incoherently. Like Pishashivat. Like a ghost living. So, like that. He is behaving like Jada Unmatta Pichashavat. Two verses describe his total disregard for the external world. By doing all these things, he is not at all following the customs of the society. He is not following the worldly custom. Because as a sane man in the world, we need to properly dress, we need to comb properly, we need to normal, we need to appear normal. But this kind of appearance is like abnormal and mad behavior. So, our person haunted by ghost, something like that. Then, Anavekshamano niragad Ashrunvan Badiroyata Udichimpra Budichin Pravivesham Gata Purvam Mahatma B. Prudi Brahma Param Dirbyayan. He then started towards the north, spreading the path accepted by his forefathers, the great man, and devoted himself completely to the thought of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and he lived in the in that way wherever he went. Yeah, yeah. Because of the car, this line very well fits here, so I put them here. So don't worry. Here it is a little different. So here it says that not waiting for his brothers, having dressed with torn cloths, he was stopped eating, stopped speaking, shaved his head, and acting himself as a dumb, insane, and ghostly, haunted by a ghost. Then he is not even waiting for his four brothers, not even waiting for anybody in the family, not hearing anything as if dead. Other people are speaking. My dear brother, what happened? Why are you doing like this? My dear sir, what are you doing like this? What happened to you? He is not listening to anybody, then what to speak of responding to anybody? Because he already said, this sense does not belong to me. Oh mind, this belongs to you. Now I don't have any work with this. Generally with hears, we hear what others are speaking. Now ye mera nahi. So I should not hear only. So it's like that. Not hearing anything as if deaf, he left the house. Meditating on Krishna in the heart, he went in the northern direction, where great souls have previously gone, 
from which one does not return. Udichin Pravivesham Gata Purvam Mahatma B. In the past, the great souls have taken the same path toward the north. Rudi Brahma Param. So in the heart, he was meditating on Parabrahma, Lord Krishna. How? Vyayam. Then Mahavar. He went to that place, having gone, no one comes back. Bhagavad Gita, chapter 15, verse number 6. Hare Krishna, devotees, online, offline. Chapter 15, text number 6. Or chapter 8, text number 15. Yad Gatvana Nivartante Tad Dhamam Paramam Mama. Shloka Pura Bataye. Natad Bhasate Suryo Nashashanko Na Pavakaha. Yad Gatvana Nivartante Tad Dhamam Paramam Mama. 8.15. Usme... इनमें दूसरा वाला याद है प्रभु पहला लाइन ओके चलो जितना तो बोलो सर्वस्य चाहा मिथितन निविष्टो नाट 15 15 8 15 8 15 ओके आब्रह्म बोना लोका पुनरावर्ति नोर्जुना मामु पेते तू कौन थे या पुनर्जन्मना ये तो कतो ना निवर्तते having gone there one will not come back पुनर्जन्मा ना विदेते there will be no rebirth Having gone there, Mamu Peti to Kondeya. They went to that place from which one does not return. The northeast direction of perfection or moksha not return. One goes there, does not come back. In the past, in the old age, people used to go on pilgrimage. That is basically Vanaprasa Ashram. Both wife and husband, they go on pilgrimage. Starting from south, visiting all the holy places, eventually they go to Haridwar, Rishikesh. Dev Prayag, and then go all the way to Badirkastram and leave their body there. And they go up only. They don't come back. They don't come back home. But now we pay. first we book written ticket, then book convert ticket. So it's like that. He did not wait for his brothers. He decided to carry out the method taught by the Lord as in Bhagavad Gita, Manmanabhava Madhbakto. Do you remember what is the meaning of Manmanabhava Madhbakto? We discussed this elaborately in our Bhakshas, even in our this class also many times. Manmana means, Krishna says that offer your mind, offer your intelligence, offer your hankar, offer your chetana. Madhbakto means offer your jnanandriyas and karmandriyas. Madhyaji means offer the five sense objects. Shabda, Rupa, Rasa, Shabda, Sparsha, Rupa, Rasa, Ganda. And then Maam Namaskuru, that means offer your grass body made up of earth, water, fire, weather. Don't do elements supposed to be offered to Krishna. Atma Nivedana ho gaya, then offer yourself. Then what Lord Krishna says? What is the last line? Manmanabha Madhvakto Madhyaji Maam Namaskuru. Maam Eveshya Se. Satyam te pradiknyane prayosimi. Satyam te, it is truth. What is truth? You will come to me. When you do this, you will come to me. How? I make I make a vow. I will take care that you will come to me if you do this. Why me? Because you are dear to me. Reuse me. So when we offer other to the Supreme Lord, that is Atma Nivedanam, Lord will take us back to Godhead. That's what Vishnu is doing here. In that way. So he decided to carry out the method taught by the Lord in Manmanabha Madhbakta to attend Lord Krishna in some solitary place without disturbance since he had now given up all responsibilities. This verse describes his action to achieve the achieve that Parabrahma means Krishna. So in the verse it is said Parabrahman, but in the current context for Yudhishthama it is Krishna. They wanted to go to Krishna because they are devotees of Krishna. So they wanted to go to Krishna. And if one goes to Krishna, Yeto Gata Na Avartate. Having gone there, one will not return. Sarvetam Anuni Anunir Jagmur Vrata Rakrata Nishaya Kalina Dharma Mitrena Drishtva 
पृष्ठा प्रजा भुवी द यंगर ब्रदर्स ऑफ महाराजा युधिष्ठिरा ऑब्जर्वड दैट द एज ऑफ कली हैड ऑलरेडी अराइव्ड थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड एंड दैट द सिटीजंस ऑफ द किंगडम वर ऑलरेडी अफेक्टेड बाय इररिलीजियस प्रैक्टिस therefore they decided to follow in the footsteps of their elder brother yeah he in the first verse it is that since kali had uh, uh, kali advented adharma chakra is in action everywhere adharmic mist was spreading he said i don't want to live anymore lord krishna left i am following so yudhishthira was following just like yudhishthira mara is going ahead his brothers also followed him seeing that kali the friend of religion had influenced the citizens on earth all his brothers decided to follow him as they anuja they are trying to follow their agraja they decided let us also take up his mentality to attain lord krishna just the way yudhishthira mara is acting the other pandavas are also behaving te sadhu krut sarvartha jnatva atyantika atmana manasadarayam asur vaikunta charanambujam they all had performed all the principles of religion and as a result rightly decided that the lotus feet of the lord shri krishna are the supreme goal for all therefore they meditated upon his feet without interruption this is one of the important verse request everyone to pay attention we will discuss also what is the meaning of this te sadhu krutha sarvartha ज्ञावा आत्यक आत्म मनसा दारयाम आसुर वैकुंठा चरणाज दे मीन पांडवास द पांडवास हू हेड पर्फॉर्मड ऑल ड्यूटी सच एस धर्म अर्थ काम एक्सेट्रा एज द रूलर्स ऑफ द एंटर वर्ल्ड दे हेव पर्फॉर्मड ऑल द ड्यूटी एज इट शुड बी डन ओके साधुकृत sarvartha sadhukuta means well done they have performed to the best of their abilities to the best they are supposed to be done sarvartha all activities in relation to dharmartha taking care of the kingdom performing the duties of the king performing yagnas giving charities everything they have performed the best way one should perform sadhukuta that is the best way one should perform they have done it so then the next line is important ज्ञावा अत्यक आत्म अंडरस्टांग द एंडले नेचर आफ दोज ड्यूटी विल देर बी एनी एंड टू द ड्यूटी आफ द कि विल देर बी एनी एंड टू द ड्यूटी आफ द हाउस होलडर नो देर इज नो एंड वन कैन कंटिव टू पर्फॉम ओनली द किंग ड्यूटी विल कंटिव ऑन इफ वन इज गिवेन ए चांस टू लिव दे कैन कंटिव टू रूल द किंगडम अंडरस्टांग दट देर इज नो एंड to the nature of these duties which come in the category of dharma artha kama they made it on the lotus feet of krishna with their minds they have ruled for 35 years very nicely very dharmically taking care of the subjects and their children they performed everything such as dharma and artha as it should be done sadhu krut sarvartha and understanding that these duties were endless for them they concentrated on the lotus feet of lord krishna with their minds having executed dharma artha kama and moksha perfectly understanding the inherent nature of lord krishna's lotus feet they meditated on those feet so yesterday evening in our bhakti vibhav class we were discussing from fourth canto yesterday because since i was preparing making slides for these verses i spoke on this verse for half an hour because the devotees were asking about in how to prepare ourselves as a householder we'll begin with the time of marriage after marriage the new duties begin the responsibilities of taking care of the family members in the form of husband to wife wife to husband what are the respect duties the husband will go to office wife will take care of the home something like otherwise nowadays both are going to office also taking care of the home eventually they will have children taking care of the children they also have to take care of the parents they also have to take care of the relatives whenever they come they also have to take care of the society in which they are living eventually their children will grow up they get married then they will have children then they have to take care of the grandchildren if they continue to live for more time the children will get married the grandchildren will also get married they will have children great grandchildren 
they will take care of the great grandchildren if there any end to the activities if they are allowed to live for 500 years there may be 10 generations but uh, there will be no end to the duties the duties will go on no end that is understanding nyatva atyantikam atmana there is no end to the worldly duties <coughs> but one should put a full stop so one should say at a right time that so my dear lord thank you very much for giving me good health and good face good uh, mentality everything i have performed all my duties towards everyone i have taken care of my duties towards my parents towards my spouse wife and husband we can say towards my children towards their children also to the direction we can take grandchildren tak so now i am done with all my duties now i want to withdraw from the world of duties now i want to dedicate in your service completely so till now i was taking care of all my family members and also by the way i was also taking care of your dd dd will be there in the home photo frames are dd will be there in their home i have taken care of all of them also i want to serve there in person for the rest of eternity ananya chintayanto mam ye jana paryupasate tesham nityabhyuktanam yoga kshemam vaam vaam till now we have so many responsibilities to take care of we have parents to take care old aged parents are there we have our family to take care family in relation to family we have so many things purchasing the ingredients paying the rents and paying the electricity bill this that taking the school fees for children so many things everything is there so at one time when the children grow up when they are married when they are settled aap sambhalo i am done with all these things then baad mein one should fully dedicate and dedicate service for example you take 60 years for some other responsibilities 60 onwards full dedicate service 20 years 80 years then then one should say to the lord my lord enough is enough डीटी सेवा हो गए बहुत हो गए आई वांट टू सर्व नो पर्सन सेवा दैट टाइम दिस वर्ड्स कम्स अनन्यास चिंतयन्तो मम देयर इज नो अदर सेकंड थॉट ओनली वन थॉट शुड रिमेन व्हाट इज दैट थॉट तेषाम देयर आफ्टर नित्य अभियुक्तानाम द वन थॉट इज दैट माय डियर माय डियर लॉर्ड आई वांट टू बिकम योर एटर्नल एसोसिएट नित्य मींस एटर्नल अभियुक्त मींस ए पर्सन स्टेइंग नेक्स्ट टू यू where it is possible staying next to the supreme lord in the spiritual world so please take me to your spiritual world in my mind there is no other thought everything all responsibilities are completed done i'm i'm now i'm ready to come to your home please take me wait 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 not completed so whatever the verse ananya chintayanto mam ye jana paryupaste till 60 when is engaged in the responsibilities of family friend society and also duties 60 to 80 only duties at 80 no duties only lord seva want to serve the lord seva age jana paryupasthe till now 60 to 80 when engaged in the duty service completely 24 by 7 duty service in the sense duty or devotional service or preaching activities whatever in connection to full devotional activities so now at 80 one should say that wo bhi khatam ho gaya उसका भी रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी जितना है उतना हो गया नाउ नित्य अभियुक्ता नाम आई वांट टू बिकम योर एटर्नल एसोसिएट देन लॉर्ड विल से दैट फॉर सच पर्सन योग क्षेम वाहन आई विल टेक द रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ टेकिंग हिम टू स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड दैट इज योगा एंड आई विल आल्सो टेक द रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ गिविंग दैट पर्सन द सर्विस दैट ही वांट्स टू डू दैट इज क्षेम लॉर्ड सेस आई विल डू द नेक्स्ट फुल वी नीड टू फॉलो द फर्स्ट थ्री Lord will follow the fourth one, fourth line. So this is same thing they are doing. Till now they have performed all the duties, also serve the duty, whatever the duty they have in their household. So now they are also serving Lord Krishna. Since Lord Krishna told them to be their kings, in that way by being the king, by ruling the king, citizens very nicely they are serving Krishna. Now Krishna left from here. They want to continue their service of Krishna. So Krishna went from here to there. they are also going there they are saying that mm-hmm. my dear krishna we want to continue your service only not other service please take me along with you so they are saying that the endless nature of the duties in this world 
they have put a full stop they said enough is enough we are coming they started towards north question please hi yes Children and grandchildren, we can, can say now, okay, stop. But our parents are still there, our in-laws are still there. There are so many duties towards them. We can't kill them. In general, it won't be happen. Nah? It won't happen like that. In general, the parents will pass away. Then we, we will become old. Then our children will get married and then eventually. General, normal course, you see. Abhi, My in-laws also there. Because, 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 no, now you have to manage. Now it's time. <laughs> No. Uh, huh? Very difficult to manage. If you say he, you are devoting so much time, it's a waste of time. Sorry, sorry. So what are you doing? Why are you cutting yourself? So it's not like that. We need to manage means you I alone see. not. You, the responsibility should be taken care of by everyone. Because others are not taking it. It is coming on one person. That is the problem sometimes. The entire family should share the responsibility. Mm. Till you are able-bodied, everybody wants. Nice. Come. I want you to come. I want you to come. Then nobody wants. So, unfortunately, situation is like that currently. So, generally, the parents will die. Then one will become old. Then one will die. Their children will become old. Eventually, like, that is general order. So, yesterday, one devotee was asking the same question. So, we should not serve parents or what? <laughs> Only Lord? Mm. Not like that, Prabhuji. Parents ko seva karne ka, jab tak parents hai, tab tak unka seva karne ka, deity ko seva karne ka. When they leave their bodies, then serve the deities. When you become old enough, then you say that, my dear Lord, I am ready to come home. So you get ready. Something like that. Of course, parents, Even our elders, we need to take care. They have invested so much, so they, they are demanding now. When we are small kids, they have invested so much. They, have, they are the gone through sleepless nights yeah. for one whole year. So every parent have done that. So, so nowadays situation is like that. Okay, my parents have done for me. I'll do for my children. Yes. I don't have to do for my parents. It's only so going on one way. Because we, the both the generation is demanding. Uh -huh. Even the children and their grandchildren are demanding. No problem, sir. With him, that is also Lord will be pleased by that. That's why I can't come every day, every Sunday. No problem. <laughs> Stay home and here, not an issue. But take care of them nicely. Serving elders is uh, not a waste of labor. Yes. So sometimes we may think like that, but they are not devotees, how can we serve them? If they are devotees only, we will serve them. That service will be Vaishnava Seva. If they are not devotees, it is not Vaishnava Seva. That is not required. No need to think like that. Just because they are elders, we need to serve them. So at least they are favorable. They will be happy that, okay, this person is devotee, so serving as nicely. So that satisfaction is there, that blessing will get. Generally in this world, the dealings are always like business. I always fight with my mother. <laughs> I mean, they they see immediate benefit, not the remote benefit. They say that by serving, what do you get? We don't get anything. Why to serve? Not like that. By serving, we get blessings. The blessings may come in the next life or next next life. We don't know when they will come. One day they will come. That time we'll understand the value of those blessings. So just because we are not getting something immediately, we cannot say that we should not serve. Nowadays, people so, have a short-term benefit only everybody says. Long-term benefit is Because society is like that. Even when, when offering some gifts to any function they go on, they were very calculative. Okay, last time they offered only a gift of this much value. So we should offer a gift of same value or maybe 10% increment, not more than that. So I say that not like that. You offer wholeheartedly. Don't expect something in return. Offer it. No, no, not like that. They don't give anything. Why should we give? They are very calculative. Mm -hmm. So it's like that. Even when I go home, generally I take photo frames and all. Whenever I go to new relatives home or some to meet some new person, I give some Bhagavad Gita book or some um, 
photo from me. Mother says, they will not read only why you want to give books. I will tell, no, if they, they may not read. Someone will read in that family. If one book is there in the family, someone sometime, when this person only, his son or daughter-in-law chastises them, that time there is no one to share with uh, their outpour, they may open the book and read. One day the time will come. So that time there should be something. So like that I try to give, but my mother always says, don't give. They will not study only. Because in the same way, you know, they see what kind of people, etc. Of course, externally, people may not be interested in that reading scriptural text and all. But we don't know what will happen when. The book is there, they will. So, so in that way, I, half of my village is filled with Bhagavad Gita books. <laughs> Every time I give one one, some people like that. It's like that. Nowadays, I'm giving a photo frames. Again, my mother says, oh, where from getting this money? You don't give me money, but giving them. <laughs> so... It's like that again. Always, they always see immediate benefit, not like remote benefit. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Ah, Prabhuji. Uh, Prabhuji, एक चीज पूछना था जैसे अभी आपने बताया कि आप हम सभी को अपनी जो भी uh, duties हैं household duties और वो सब पूरी करना चाहिए और उसके बाद जब बूढ़े हो जाओ तो duties की सेवा और माता पिता की सेवा और जब वो भी देह त्याग कर दें तो डी सेवा के बाद अपना जाने की तैयारी करना चाहिए तो प्रभु जी इस ये पूरे प्रकरण प्रकरण में आ, मतलब जो जैसे सो कॉल्ड सर्विस टू नेशन या कहते कम्युनिटी की सर्विस जो कि ऑब्वियसली एक हम सोशल मतलब एक सोशल एनवायरनमेंट में रहते हैं तो उसका भी तरफ हमारा कुछ जो ड्यूटीज बनती है वो कहाँ पे फिट होती है इसमें Perform Harinam Sankirtan, organize satsang programs, invite everyone, feed them Krishna Prasad, provide them the facility to hear Krishna Katha, distribute Bhagavad Gita, teach them Bhagavad Gita, teach slokas to small children. Yes, all of us, the Prakriti Seva or National Seva, everything fits in that. That is the best form of national service. Mm -hmm. exactly. Can you think of something better than that? Bring the no, awareness no, no. of... Yes. Bring the awareness that the material nature is our mother. The Supreme Lord is our father. Don't trouble mother and father. That's all. Everything is taken care. Yes, Prabhuji. So you don't have to take placards. Save water, save nature, not like that. Tell them that. <laughs> uh, uh, um, what is that verse? Yat karoshi, yadash nashi, yad josh tadashi, yad tapashi se kaunte, yad tat kurusha madar pannam. Tell them everyone, whatever you do, do it as a service to Supreme Lord. बस हो गए एंड देन यू आल्सो टेल देम दैट वेट 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 यू आल्सो टेल देम दैट व्हाट इज दिस वर्स 313 बीज प्रद पिता नहीं नहीं 313 बाबा दैट इज 43 14 3 313 यज्ञचिष्टा सिनचंतो मुच्यन्ते सर्व किलबिषय बुंजते ते अगम पापा ए पचन्ति आत्मकारणात टेल दैट वर्स टू एवरीवन होम सेवर यू कम अक्रॉस सो डोंट टेक एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम नेचर जस्ट लाइक दैट Take it and offer it to Krishna, then accept the remnants. Bas ho gaya. Everything is in proper order. Aisa aap nahi kar rahe, isliye itna problem ho rahe. Uh, Prabhu ji, jaise maine pichla ek just uh, uh, experience thoda um, uska answer chahta tha. Maine kuch dinon mein matlab ye karna shuru kiya. Jaise aap bata rahe hain ki teach Bhagavad Gita and everything, jo bhi aap mula usme jitna sambhav ho paya. तो एक चीज मुझे पूछना था कि काफी लोगों का जैसे जिनका ना ये कृष्ण में विश्वास ही नहीं है उनका आप तो हम कुछ नहीं कर पाए उनको आप कुछ भी बताओगे उनको जैसे आपने बोला ना अभी के उनको धर्म अधर्म ही नजर आता है दे आर ऑफ दैट लेवल उनका कोई इलाज है क्या जस्ट उनको आप समझा नहीं सकते जस्ट वी नीड टू परफॉर्म अवर ओन भक्ति सो सीइंग अवर सिंसियरिटी सीइंग अवर एजुकेशन वन डे दे विल बिकम कन्विंस्ड Okay. Everything will not happen overnight, Prabhu. Just because I am doing everything should happen. We should not have the demands. We should do no, it. Uh, we, we should keep doing. So if we show to 100 people, 10 people will see it and one person will accept it. Something like that. This is the principle for book distribution. We have to show Bhagavad Gita to 100 people. 10 people will see the Bhagavad Gita and one person will take the Bhagavad Gita. Something like that. Not always, no, but we should go with that mentality. So at least... If you show 100 people, 10 Bhagavad Gita will go. Something like that. Ah, <laughs> something. So, but anyway. Hey, Krishna. 
um see try to uh, meditate upon this verse also understand this you see i'm mean, not trying to uh, uh, tell that all of you should renounce or something like that but uh, this is the ultimate understanding of scriptures and ultimate understanding that we get from the devotees so all the devotees that we are going to read in the bhagavatam also they have done the responsibilities toward the kingdom toward the family members toward the society perfectly but at the right time they have also taken renunciation like yudhishthira mahara took now so that is required without renunciation we cannot show to the lord that my dear lord i am ready to serve you exclusively currently also you may be serving the deity but while serving so many other in the home in the society in the country in general but one point at one time we should come to the point that my dear lord i don't want to serve anyone anymore i want to serve you exclusively ananya chinta yantu mam ejana pari upasate completely i want to engage in your service not here in your abode then one is ready to go back come back to god then lord will take one to go back to god so yes like, prabhu hmm. and this cannot be done prematurely this should be done after executing all our responsibilities properly not in a way of escaping that's what we are scolded for always whenever i go home the whole village scolds me for that only so it's like that so now we'll continue tad dhyano driktaya bhaktya vishuddha dishana pare tasmin narayane pade ekanta amata yogatim ారాయణ కృష్ణ this is attained only by those who meditate upon the supreme lord without deviation this abode of the lord shri krishna known as golok vrindavan cannot be attained by persons who are absorbed in the material conception of life but the pandavas being completely washed of all material contamination attained that abode in their very same bodies yeah. having pure intelligence with mind solely dedicated to supreme lord whose portion is lord narayana by profuse bhakti with meditation on krishna they attained the goal unattainable by the materialists what is that goal the pure abode of lord with their pure bodies viduta kalmasha sthanam virajena atmanena atmanena iva basically viducha kalmacha sthanam that place which is freed from all contamination they have attained how atmaneva with their self same bodies since they are eternal or supreme lord all the five pandavas went to dwaraka in the spiritual world in the self same body they went to dwaraka ah they are dwaraka krishna's friends they are not goloka krishna's friends so far mentioned near goloka that is the rasa Uh, that is rasa see as a preacher he does not want to put so many subsequent details to confuse people in iskan means goloka the ultimate uh, desire supposed to be goloka but for pandava they are they are the friends of dwarka krishna not goloka krishna so they will go to dwarka only why they would will go to goloka the misna rasa misna chu jayega udar Vishnu Pitama also went to the Dwarka. Huh? Vishnu Pitama. Vishnu Pitama said that he went to Vaikuntha where Parsaradi is there. Where that form of Krishna like Parsaradi is there, that Vaikuntha he went. So wherever that is there. So in that one. They had intelligence unmixed with Jnana or Yoga or other things like Karma etc. That they were fixed in Ekanta Matayo. they are like ananya bhaktas what was the goal they attained the dwelling place 
free of all faults vidusa kalmasha sthanam or this can refer to krishna's abode where there was the sudharma hall sudharma hall was in dwarka so in the spiritual world also it will be in dwarka so that is where they went how did they attain it they attained it in their same spotless bodies virajena raja means rajoguna raja means dust raja means contamination viraja means without contamination atmana means the self same body devoid of their devata expansion such as yamaraj for yudhishthir so yamaraj as split personality one not yamaraj yudhishthir maharaj split personality one is krishna sir and also jet and also yamaraj entered into him arjuna also split personality one is arjuna one is nara one is indra three people were there so in that way. so indra went to sargaloka nara went to badrikashram arjuna went to dwarka yamaraj went to yamaloka yudhishthir maharaj went to dwarka so one person can control ah like that only karna is also three split personality surya and also sahasra kavacha demon both were there in him surya so uh, what was the name so sahasra kavacha demon there is a demon whose name is sahasra kavacha Uh, we discussed in one of the recent class so it's like that so everyone was like two two personalities bhishma ah uh? bhima also ah bhima also is eternal he was devotee of the supreme lord also vayu so vayu went to vayu wherever he is there and bhima went to spiritual world bhishma bhishma also two one bhishma main bhishma went to that vaikuntha where parsarthi krishna is there and that vasu who entered into bhishma went to sargaloka so in this devata after manvantara what are the duties are over this currently manvantara is going on up till now 28 are completed still minimum 71 are still total duration is there so that means 43 are remaining after that they will go to spiritual world Hare Krishna Prabhu ji. Ah Hare Krishna. Sorry Prabhu ji. Prabhu ji I wanted to ask if uh, all Yudhishthir Maharaj and all the Pandavas they went back to Goloka Vrindavan um uh, No no they, I mean they went back to Dwaraka not Goloka Vrindavan. Okay. Hmm. Vaikuntha. Not Vaikuntha Dwaraka. Vaikuntha is different Dwaraka is different Madura is different and Vrindavan is different. Okay. Okay, Prabhu ji. So they did not desire for uh, service like how the Rajvasis serve or the Gopis serve Lord Krishna, because we we are told or Propat tells that we should always try uh, to serve the Lord, thinking mm-hmm. of how we should follow the footsteps of the Gopis. But this uh, rasa that they have, the Pandavas or uh, no in uh, whoever was there in hastinapur uh, with krishna so mm-hmm. it was the same right whatever rasa they had like friend or elder brother it was not rajavasis uh, no not like how? that all the hastinapur vasis were exposed to dwaraka krishna only they never saw vrindavan krishna they never saw mm-hmm. a covered by krishna they always saw krishna as the son of vasudev who is coming like a elegant personality king royal personality they always saw royal krishna only so they are all devoted to royal krishna not simple okay. cowherd by krishna that is for okay. rajavasis shila shila prabhupad being the acharya he is telling us aspire to serve the lord like rajavasis but pandavas are already mm. devotees they are eternal associates they are already serving him in that rasa so why they need to change that rasa mm. so they can they will okay. continue the same rasa they are not going for the first time to spiritual world they were there in the spiritual world they just came here to assist the lord mm-hmm. so they are missing yes. the work okay. that's why it is mentioned that they did not give up their bodies just lord's bodies we say that sachidananda so these personalities also like that only they did not give their their self same body they went back to spiritual world so in that way thank you prabhu 
हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी प्रभु जी हमने इसके पहले के चैप्टर में देखा था कि पांडव लोग हिमालय से आगे चले गए थे युधिष्ठिर महाराज और बुद्ध के साथ तो देवेंट विद दैट बॉडी ओनली देवेंट टू द्वारका और वो शरीर छोड़ के फिर उन्होंने दूसरा शरीर धारण किया नो नो विद द सेल्फ सेम बॉडी देवेंट टू स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड इन द सेम बॉडी बिकॉज़ दे दे आर नितेसिद बक्तास ना उनका भौतिक शरीर नहीं था आप कह रहे हो उनका भौतिक शरीर नहीं था उनका शाश्वत शरीर था हां यस बिकॉज़ सिंस दे वर इन द भौतिक जगत चालंग दे वर हियर देयर बॉडी एक्टिंग लाइक ए बहुत नॉर्मल मटेरियल बॉडी but where when the right time came for them to go back to god it their body transformed into spiritual body and they went to spiritual world in that way okay jaise humko yatna sharir milta hai waise unko spiritual body mil gaya right no our getting yatna deh is like we are changing the body completely our gross body we remain we leave it here and we get a new gross body okay. that is called yatna deh if somebody goes to hell ha huh, but huh. This, this is not the case with yudhishthir maharaj it is the spiritual body with which they came down here but as long as they are here the body is seen by others like the material body only so it is also taking the material okay. food and it is nurtured by the food what we generally eat the rice dal sabji chapati whatever it is but when it is right time to go to spiritual world the body again reassumes its original nature and goes back there that basically when they come here they transform which is suitable to this environment and when they are going back to spiritual world again they re attain their original nature and they go back so it is like that oh okay so in that way we are going are prabhu ji dandvat pranam prabhu ji can you uh, elaborate more about this yatna sharir and uh, i'm not getting it properly no no don't worry yatna sharir is something she added don't worry forget it that is a body which will be given to a person when they go to hell when we are in the earth we get a human body when one goes to yes. hell they get a yatana body when they go to swarga they get a devata body that is the name of that body which with which one takes birth in that particular place that's all means uh, prabhu ji when we are here we got human body ha huh? ah. and uh, we know body lives here and our soul goes uh, but uh, uh, we'll get another body to go like uh, if we have to go somewhere Yes, Our yes. Soul goes. When the jiva goes to uh, hellish planet, they will get a yatana deha, which will give continuous misery. That's why it is called yatana deha, which uh-huh. is meant to give misery only. So in that, it is another class body. Oh, yeah. For example, for example, if we die, and uh, in nine months later we'll take birth, maybe in another village through the womb of another mother, there is a new body will uh-huh. be developed. So like that, if one goes to hell, the new body will be developed. It is known as yatana deha. So in that. and if we don't go to hell uh, then other place wherever we go accordingly the body will come okay the body will come accordingly if See, somebody yeah. goes uh, to vaikuntha then the vaikuntha body will come with four arms yeah, and, and four. bluish complexion and for golok vrindavan goloka whatever complexion is there i don't know what the complexion that kind of body will come okay okay See, forget God. about goloka vaikuntha simple now i am in a human species so i have a human body the next tomorrow if i get a body um, as a cat i will get a cat body yes, simple prabhuji, but we say na uh, prabhu ji that if we are following krishna consciousness we will not get an see, animal body see mataji don't mm-hmm. get into details i am giving an example understand example if jiva okay, supposed to become prabhuji. cat they will get a cat body if jiva supposed to go to vaikuntha they get a vaikuntha body simple yes and prabhu ji uh, for what about dhruv maharaj when dhruv maharaj went he we went in this body only ah he is here only in the material world only he did not go anywhere he went to shwetadeep every day we see na oh. dhruva dhruvatara yes prabhu ji yes he is there only in dhruva loka he is here only he did not go anywhere but we what we hear that uh, when uh, death came Dhruva Maharaj uh, put his uh, uh, feet on his uh, head like uh-huh. that. We so he he didn't go anywhere. That means he did not leave the body in the self same body only. He went to the abode of Shri Lakshmi Vishnu, and eventually uh-huh. it became known as Dhruva Loka because Lord Vishnu gave his own home to Dhruva Maharaj. That is what he wanted. Uh-huh. That's why. Now it is clear. Thank. Okay. Basically, the death concept is explained because he did not die. He did not leave behind his grass body. 
in the same self same grass body only transformed into the suitable form which he, with which he can enter into the roloka so in that way hmm same way the pandava's body which was nourished by eating rice dal sabji chapati till now all the last 125 years has transformed in such a way that it can live very happily in the dwarka in the spiritual world so in that way. like that transformation took place okay prabhu thank you viduropi parityajya prabhase deha atmana krishnanveshana tachitta pitrubi swakashayam yeyo Vidura, while on pilgrimage, left his body at Prabhasha. Because he was absorbed in thought of Krishna, he was received by the denizens of the Pitruloka planet, where he returned to his original post. Vidura also absorbing his mind in Krishna. So Vidura already came to Asinapur, took Dhritarashtra, Gandhari along with him. to all the way they went to himalayas in the himalayas gadadrashtra and gandhari entered into fire he was uh, feeling happy also sad also from there he returned he was traveling all the places he came to prabhas there at prabhas because in prabhas lord krishna left his body he lived, left from this place vidura also left from prabhas escorted by prithrus he went to yamaloka because the yamaraju appeared as vidura so in yamaloka also there is a pitruloka And those pitrus came down to take Yamaraj back. So along with them, he, he went back to Yamaloka, where pitruloka is there. Vidura was an incarnation of Devata, not uh, known as Yamaraj, and he is not an eternal lord of supreme lord. He is a Devata, just like Indra portion of Arjuna went to Saragaloka. So Vidura is completely transformation of Yamaraj because the curse of Mandava Muni appeared as Yamaraj, so he appeared as Vidura. Now he is returning to his original place. Thus he gave up his body. The pitrus had come to lead him to his own abode. Swakshayam means his place of jurisdiction. He went to Yamaloka, where his own abode is there, his own home, etc. So doubt why Vidura is not a eternal associate. Doubt again. He is Yamaraj. Now he is completely Yamaraj. So Yamaraj is also a devotee, but right now he is Seva. So when he will go back to spiritual world, he will become. associate of supreme lord okay. yeah you remember 10th canto first chapter when mother earth is overwhelmed by the asuras they went and prayed to shivaksha vishnu devatas then lord vishnu told that i am appearing along with my eternal associates i am coming down may all of you also appear so when krishna came mother yashoda nanda maharaj came devaki vasudev came they are eternal associates they are always in the spiritual world they came down but also devatas came The two vasus, Drona and Dara, entered into Nanda and Deshoda. Kashyapa and Aditi entered into Vasudev and Devaki. Ah, uh, Kartikeya entered into Samba. So, like that, various devotees entered into various personalities. One of the other vasu entered into Ju vasu entered into Bhishma. Indra entered into Arjuna. Vayu entered into Bhima. Yamaraj also entered into Yamaraj Manamsha entered into Yudhishthir Maharaj. And the remaining part of Emara entered became as Vidura because of Vikars. So I like that. So he is a devata, and he returned a devata. Ah, on the tour, same thing. Draupadi cha tadagnyatya tadagnyaya pati nam ana pekshatam vasudeve bhagavati. द्रौपदी <laughs> So on the way, Draupadi fell down. Did any Pandavas did something to rescue her? They went ahead. That is what we are reading here. Why they went ahead? Because enough is enough with this world. Going. It is. Nakula fell. Going. Migri Meningal going. Sahadeva fell. Meningal going. Arjuna fell. Meningal going. Bhima fell. Still, Yudhishthira is going ahead. That is the detachment. 
अभी तक ड्यूटीज था प्रोटेक्ट किया अभी हो गया नो प्रोटेक्शन वॉट एवर है So they were not even informed Draupadi that they are going, but Draupadi on her own followed them. Yeah, they did not call her, so they don't have any responsibility over Draupadi. She fell down. Okay, we are going. Whether Subhadra gone or we don't know, but Subhadra also somehow or other. Even here, it is not said that Draupadi went after them. In that way. Talks about external activities, but not so much what is happening in their heart. So there is a difference between Bhagavatam and Mahabharata. Okay. Draupadi understanding that her husbands are become indifferent to her, they were not even informed, and they are going ahead. Concentrated her mind on Vasudeva and attend him. She followed them, being a chaste wife. But in between, she fell down, and eventually, she also attained Vaikuntha. Similarly, whether Subhadra followed or not, we don't know. But in either case, whether by following or not following, she also concentrated on Lord Krishna, and she also attained Lord Krishna. Subhadra and others did the same, since it is not mentioned that she gave up her body. Either Draupadi or Subhadra, it is nowhere mentioned that they gave up the body. That means they also went to spiritual world in a self-same body. Since she was also an eternal associate of Supreme Lord Sri Krishna, both Draupadi and Subhadra, both of them are also eternal associates of Krishna. They also went back to spiritual world in the self-same bodies. So it's very good. It's the last verse for this chapter and for today also. This is like Falas Tuti. ियस Therefore, anyone who hears this narration with the devotional faith certainly gains the devotional service of the Lord, the highest perfection of life. He who hears with faith about the departure of the Pandavas, dear to the Lord, as described herein, after attaining pure blessings, will attain the perfect stage of devotion to the Lord. Shrunoti alam. Swasti ayanam, pure blessings. Pavitram, pure. Labdva haro bhaktim, they will attain devotion to the supreme Lord. So in that way, iti sampar ayanam means the departure has herein described and not otherwise. Siddhi means the state of highest perfection. So something like that. So this is what one will attain. By hearing the Pandava, that means by hearing the Pandava, they the way they went to spiritual world. Hearing means you should follow following. <laughs> Just by hearing, one cannot get anything. When we hear, the expected thing is that we should follow the way they did. So then we will also attain whatever they attained. Just by hearing, nothing comes. So when something we have heard means we need to follow that. Then only we will get the results mentioned here. So. In, The last one minute, I'll read the tra- four lines of the purport. Sri Mat Bhagavat means the narration about the personality of God and the devotees of the Lord, like the Pandavas. The narration of the personality of God and the devotees is absolute in itself, and thus to hear it with a devotional attitude is to associate with the Lord and constant companions of the Lord. By the process of hearing Sri Mat Bhagavat, one can attain the highest perfection of life, namely going back home, back to Godhead, without failure. By the process of hearing Sri Mat Bhagavatam, within the bracket, and then applying it in our daily life, okay. one can attain the highest perfection of life, namely going back home, back to Godhead without failure. Hare Krishna, Gantra, Sri Mat Bhagavatam ki jai, Shri Prabhupada ki jai, Amanta Koti, Vaishnava Bhakta Bandhu ki jai.
So, kanggap.